Hello, business partners. My name is Clentus and welcome to Clentus on Business. Without further ado, let's get into today's video because I want to talk about making money on YouTube, but I want to zoom in on a specific niche that I think that you as a small YouTuber can pursue in making money before you are even monetized on YouTube, and that is affiliate marketing. I see that a lot of small YouTubers, especially here in Africa, are not taking the opportunity or the advantage of affiliate marketing probably is because we may not be aware what is affiliate marketing and how it works and how one makes money on on affiliate marketing so i am here to kind of like give you an idea or at least paint you a picture as to what is affiliate marketing and how so many other youtubers around the world are making thousands of dollars through affiliate marketing with just small number of subscribers on their channels. Some channels are not even monetized yet, and yet they are already making $150 a day, $250 a week, $1,000 a week, and so on and so forth. We do see these videos on YouTube all the time. So I want you to be one of those YouTubers as well that share how much money they are actually making on YouTube prior to monetization. So before I go any further, what is affiliate marketing? So basically, there are companies out there, like huge companies that would like to work with nano uh, influencers like yourself. A nano influencer is a YouTuber or an Instagrammer or a, uh, what do you call these people? A TikToker with following of about a thousand to about 10,000 subscribers or followers. They are known as a nano influencers. And then you'll have micro influencers that start from 50,000 all the way to 100,000 subscribers. And then you have, of course, your so-called influencers with hundreds of thousands of subscribers or followers on the social media platform to millions of followers. And those are the ones that make the big bucks. However, Everything in life starts small. You start with baby steps and as you grow, you grow with it. And I want to show you how you can actually grow your own uh, income slowly but surely until you get to the big numbers that probably you dream of because we all dream of big numbers. But reality is that we need to start from fresh. So basically affiliate marketing, it is where you as a content creator either approaches a company and say, hey, do you guys have an affiliate program? Meaning that does the company have some kind of a provision where you as an influencer or as a YouTuber or an Instagrammer can promote their products and services or services for a fraction of a commission? So all affiliate marketing programs do not work the same and they do not pay the same. Sometimes you might find a company that say, okay, fine, we do have an affiliate program, but we pay our influencers 2% of every purchase. So with me, I get a lot of questions in my main channel. Hey, where did you get this mic from? I always tell them that, hey, tech a lot is where I buy most of my filming equipment. Now, I'm not sure, this is something that I need to make a mental note of, to go to take a lot or call take a lot and ask them if they have an affiliate uh, program that I can get a custom link to so that whenever somebody asks me, where did I get this mic? I'm able to send them in the description box where they are going to find a custom link. And therefore, if they click on the link, I do get paid for that. For a click, you get paid for that. But a, so maybe you get paid maybe a dollar per click. And then if the person who clicked and saw this mic because I recommended it on my video when they asked me, then let's say this microphone cost a thousand rand or a thousand dollars. I'm just making a rough example here. And then you and Techalot or you and Amazon agree that with every mic that you sell, you get 50% uh, commission. So that means that if this microphone is a thousand rand, five hundred rand comes to more or comes to me. Or if the microphone is a thousand dollars, five hundred dollars comes to me, and five hundred dollars goes to Amazon or it goes to Techalot. That kind of uh, situation. However, some affiliate programs they'll tell you they pay two percent per purchase, or they'll tell you they pay ten percent per purchase, or they'll tell you they'll send you a promotional package. They would like you to review that package. Of course, if that happens, then that means you are no longer part of an affiliate uh, program 
you are now being sponsored and therefore you can charge a higher amount for your audience you know that okay i've got a loyal audience yes they might be small but they are loyal and whatever i tell them they trust it and uh and then they will uh, buy these uh products or services so i think i've already explained how affiliate marketing kind of works but here is the thing you are a content creator on YouTube and at some stage your YouTube channel is going to get monetized. Let me tell you something about Google AdSense. Google AdSense does pay provided that you work hard and then your channel is growing in terms of views, especially in views, and that your subscribers or your viewers actually watch the ads. If they don't watch the ad, if they don't watch the ads, unfortunately, you're not going to make money. So as well, you can't keep telling your audience, hey, watch the ads, watch the ads, when we know very well that ads do play uh, mid-roll ads, beginning and end ads, and then some people get really irritated by ads. I just got somebody today telling me, hey, you know what? I love your channel, but the ads, dude, I want to support you, but the ads are way too long, especially the ones that are in between the video. So... Please give me grace whether to watch the first and the last ads or the shortest ads that play in the mid-roll. So you get a disadvantage as a content creator. And then if you are going to depend solely on Google AdSense, Google AdSense basically it's the ads, then you are not going to make as much money as you, uh, you would like. That is why many YouTubers that do this type of content will tell you do not rely only on Google AdSense, you must also have another stream of income, a hustle, uh, a side hustle of some sort. And this is where affiliate marketing comes into play because with affiliate marketing, you do some companies will not want you to have a big following. As long as you've got a following, they will give you a custom link that you can advertise or recommend their products or services to your audience. And if your audience is influenced enough because they trust you as a content creator, they may click and even purchase or take up subscription of these services. What I like about uh, what I like about subscriptions is that the income is recurring every month. So imagine, for example, you send people, let's say on your video, you have this music that is playing and somebody that just started YouTube and hearing that music, they'll ask you, hey, where did you get the music from? And then you're able to tell them it's from Epidemic Sounds. Okay, I'm not sponsored by any company that any company or brands that I'm going to mention in this video. And I'm not also paid to mention these companies and brands in this video. I'm just bringing these to your attention. And then you just say Epidem Epidemic Sound. And then uh, if you are uh, affiliated to Epidemic Sound, then you have a custom link. And then you just send them to the custom link and say it's in, uh, it's in the description box. You can click and then there's so many percentage that you're going to get discount for. And and, 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 uh, and the nice thing about that, as long as you get as many people taking up Epidemic Sound subscription every single month, Every single month, you get a commission out of those people that have signed up. If they sign up forever, then forever you'll be getting that income coming into your uh, bank account. That is passive income that you probably didn't even think about in your sleep. But come end of the month and you are reading out your statements and they are telling you so many hundreds of um, of dollars that entered into your account because of uh, because of epidemic sounds. Sometimes uh, somebody will ask you, what SEO tool do you use, search engine optimization uh, uh, tool you use? And you say, oh, I use vidIQ. I use vidIQ, me, I use vidIQ. And I could say, yeah, it's vidIQ. If I have an affiliate uh, custom link with vidIQ, then I can send them down the description box and say, hey, click on the, the description box down below and then you will get so much discount that is if i am affiliated to vidiq and sometimes they will want to ask about an editing tool and then i say oh i use vllo it's a user-friendly type of editing tool and then if i'm affiliate to that i'll get a commission when you sign up just signing up without purchasing yet just signing up i'll get a commission uh, for that and if you do uh, start subscribing to VLLO or VidIQ or whatever the case might be, then I will get a cut from your subscription according to me 
and the agreement I had with VidIQ, with uh, Epidemic Sound and all those others. And if it's take a lot, I will then, depending on how much percent we agreed on uh, when you purchase the microphone. So what companies that I know, and one of them I'm also a part of, I'll mention the names, uh, that you can also pursue in uh, getting yourself signed up for an affiliate marketing program. The first one, and the one that is usually used the most by YouTubers, especially small YouTubers, is Amazon Associates. Amazon Associates is a branch of Amazon that where it does uh, affiliate marketing, and they will want to, uh, all you have to do is sign up and after signing up, then you get yourself a custom link. After getting a custom link, then you can search billions and billions of items and services that you can recommend or refer to your viewers. Now, make sure that whatever product or service that you are going to recommend to your viewers is something that you believe in. Do not sell them something that you do not believe in or something that you've never used before. It's always best to recommend something that you use, that you believe in, and when you speak about it, you speak about it with authority, enough for them to actually trust what you are saying, rather than just selling them something that you yourself, you do not use, you don't even know how it works. Because some people, if they're having some kind of trouble with that uh, item, they might go into your uh, comment section and say, hey, I'm having trouble with this. And if you can't explain it, then you will be discredited by them as well as those that are watching or actually reading these comments. So be careful with that one. So me, I am part of ShareSL. ShareSL is an affiliate marketing uh, network of companies. I think there's like hundreds of companies that sell different products there. I have not yet utilized or gotten myself a custom link from them. The reason why is because when I joined my YouTube channel, I'm talking about the main channel, was still quite small. And they usually go with uh, a, they have a threshold that you need to have uh, X number of subscribers and X number of views on your on your videos in order for them to actually give you a custom link in order for you to start uh, advertising or uh, what do you call this promoting the services and products. For me, I wanted to concentrate on some cameras that I liked because sometimes I get asked, hey, what camera are you using for your YouTube videos? And then if I say it's a phone, they would like to know what phone I'm using. And if you go down on uh, share SL, you'll see that cell phone and I can get a custom link for it and then embed it in my description box and say, hey, uh, you can go down my description box. You'll find a discount there with my name uh, or if you purchase under my code and all that stuff. And then if you do purchase the camera and let's say the camera costs 40,000 Rand and then I'm only going to get 10% uh, of uh, the purchase. Hey, I've already made something like, um, what is it, 4,000 Rand? I've already made 4,000 Rand out of that purchase. So imagine now about 100 people like that camera and they, they find the description box and then they actually click and then they purchase. Imagine all those 4,000 rands that I am going to make that particular month. So that is why many YouTubers swear by affiliate marketing programs. So there is something that I want you to think about as well as a content creator here in Africa because I don't see a lot of African YouTubers taking advantage of affiliate marketing. You can actually make hundreds of thousands of US dollars if uh, you get a loyal following, a following that wants to also see you succeed or a, uh, or a following that has a disposable income. And now here's my advice. It's best that you start now while your YouTube channel is still small or while your Instagram page is still small or your TikTok page is still small. And then you embed these uh, custom links, but you need to first go find out from this company or that brand if they do have an affiliate marketing program and then tell them, basically pitch yourself and say, I got a loyal following, I get so many views and my channel gets so many subscribers a week or a month. So basically you tell them a story about your channel and then they'll give you a custom link and then that custom link and then you are able to embed it in your description box and et cetera and so on. So here's my advice. It's always best to have these custom links now while you're growing your channel. Now with Amazon, once you uh, become an affiliate uh, participant, they give you exactly six months to start making a certain threshold. If you're not gonna meet that threshold within six months, they kick you off the program. But now, 
The best part is as you grow, six months is a long time for you not to be making that threshold. I think the threshold is $100. Same goes with share sale. I think the threshold there is $100. But with share sale, they don't kick you out. They just don't pay you. Whatever it is that you've made, they'll just keep it until you meet the threshold. So my point that I'm trying to make is get yourself growing first and build a an audience that will trust you. Whatever it is that you bring to their attention in terms of an affiliate product or an affiliate uh, service, they will actually trust you enough to purchase that product or they will trust you enough to take up subscription for that service. Sometimes unprovoked, your audience will ask you, hey, where did you get that? Hey, where did you get that? And this is the opportunity for you to do what? To send them in the description box because you already have a custom link for that particular product they're asking you about. In most cases, if you are a YouTuber, you get asked about the camera equipment that you are using, the microphone that you are using, the editing tool that you are using, the music or the background music, where did you get it from? Those are the things usually you will get asked so take an advantage of that. Get camera uh, custom links that you can put in your description box, ring light uh, custom links that you can put in the uh, description box, etc., and so on. That way you are opening yourself up to something that is tangible and real and could actually make you real money as well. Now, the disadvantage with the Amazon Associates is that, is that they've got hundreds of thousands of people that are part of that program. So usually the percentages are very, very small. But the nice thing about this, it can accumulate over time. So you need to be patient as well. Once you start an affiliate program, you need to exercise patience. Do not uh, rush things and think you're going to make money immediately. No. Get these custom links, like I said, and then just always make sure that by default they are in your description box. One day when your YouTube channel starts growing really large, that's when you'll start having people who will trust whatever you recommend to them and then you're able to send them in your description box. Or if you're on Instagram, I don't know where you go to there, uh, to, uh, to, to promote a product or uh, a service. I hope we understand each other on this one because it's a very exciting program that you can participate in because it does not need you to have many subscribers. As long as you have a YouTube channel, they will give you the custom link. But with ShareSL, you, I think you will have to have, I think, 100 subscribers if I remember very well. And then maybe another 100 views, uh, that's when they'll start giving you a custom link and things like that. So I am going to, uh, there are also many other companies that you can pursue like ClickBank and uh, there are many, there are many. It's for you to do your research, research the company that you would like to have an affiliate program with or if they have an affiliate marketing program and then you, they can give you a custom link. So I think this is it that I want to say in this video, but I will be talking more on this topic as uh, we continue with uh, this channel because I feel like affiliate marketing is supposed to be our bread and butter for us small YouTubers going forward. Before we start getting these sponsors and then we start making serious money on Google AdSense and all that stuff, let's start here. So anyways, guys, those are my thoughts in this video. And if you enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next time with a new video. Goodbye.